your workout today is a five minute stretch for better sleep. You can do this one on a mat with a pillow right before going to sleep, or you can do this while in bed. Let's begin with your very first exercise. We're going to be doing a seated butterfly stretch. To really intensify this one, you need to push your hands or your elbows into the inside of your knees and lean forward. You'll definitely feel it in your inner thighs and hip flexors. Moving on. You're going to be doing a seated cat stretch here. So you're going to arch your back and to make this more deep, you can hold onto your knees with your hands or your shins. Don't forget to breathe here, inhaling and exhaling. Coming out of it now, we're going to be doing a one leg stretch. Bringing your arm to the inside of your leg, reaching up and over. If you're not as flexible, you don't need to come quite as low as I'm showing you here. Do what feels good and relaxing today. Doing the same thing on the other leg. Reach up and over. You'll feel this in your obliques, your low back. This one should feel very good. Moving on to a seated forward fold, you're going to reach to the sky and then you're going to lean over trying to grab your ankles, your heels, or if that's too intense for you, you can just come up as high as your thighs here, just holding on to your thighs. Coming into a lying position now, we're going to massage your adrenals, bringing your knees into your chest. You can move around here if you feel so inclined. Do what feels good. Now we're going to stretch out our inner thighs and hip flexors in a lying butterfly stretch. So you're going to place the heels of your feet together and make sure your low back is on the floor if you can. If not, no worries pressing those knees out to the side as much as possible. This one is a little bit intense, but so effective. Taking both of those legs now over your head. If you cannot keep those legs straight, don't worry about it. You can have a nice slight bend to your legs. Work up to this one if it feels challenging for you today. one leg crossovers here bringing your knee to your chest and try to push that knee across your body to tap the floor sometimes you'll feel cracking and popping here and that's completely normal we're moving quickly to the other side now you might notice that one side is tighter than the other just work through it as best as you can. Keeping that breath, inhaling and exhaling. Now you're going to lie on your mat or your bed and just rest and enjoy how good you are now feeling. You're ready for bed. Continue to relax. And I'll see you again next time for your workout.